How's it going? Um, I realize I probably could stream this at 60 FPS um, just because of uh, how this uh, rig runs. I'm sure I'd be able to handle it, but uh, next time, maybe next time I uh, 
I pull up the stream, I'll, I'll try to do it at 16, or 60 rather, and uh, try to, yeah, try to give you guys a little bit more of a show. Um, anyway, I hope everyone's well, I hope everyone had a lovely, lovely Thanksgiving. Um, let's go ahead and pull up the can. Hi folks. <laughs> I hope you're all well. Um, you'll have to let me know if the audio uh, is too much at all. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, it's uh, I'm still working out the settings. It's a little low in my ears, but um, OBS says it's a little louder. So I just want to make sure I, I'm balanced for y'all. Um, anyway, uh, I had tweeted about it earlier. Um, I just kind of wanted to mention some PlayStation games uh, that I enjoyed uh, when I first really got into gaming. Um, uh, as some of you may know already, it's uh, 20 years uh, to the day of when Japan released the first PlayStation. Um, it's not quite uh, 20 years for uh, the American release, so I'll probably do more of a thing um, well, when it's the American release, oh, excuse me, I've got a little bit of a tickle. Um, but uh, I just wanted to kind of talk about uh, the PlayStation 1, and um, it just made me think of the games that I loved um, from that system. It was one of the first systems that I really... Um, uh, came around to. I enjoyed the Genesis. I loved the Genesis. That was one that um, I played quite a bit when I was growing up, um, but it was really not until the PlayStation that I really started to think about games with uh, storylines and role-playing games. You know, um, I didn't play any role-playing games on the Genesis. I assume there were some. I don't know of any. Um, but it wasn't until, um, and I didn't have an N64 or Super Nintendo, um, so it wasn't until we got our PlayStation 1 where I started um, finding these games that were very story-based and were very much about uh, developing characters and storylines, and I started... Uh, um, I started really loving games at that point, and um, I guess, you know, something as story-driven as, as Gone Home, for instance, which is what we're going to play tonight, um, kind of uh, reflects um, how much I enjoy a good story in a game. Um, and plus the pacing of RPGs, um, a lot of them are very uh, much targeted towards a uh, uh, a gamer who wants to take it at the pace that they want to go. Um, you know, it's like reading a good book slowly and really taking your time and going back and rereading things. Um, that's always how I've kind of been, but um, I just kind of want to mention a few games that I really loved. Uh, let's see, what have we got here? Um, this game I remember loving for the, um, for the style. Um, I never played the first one, but I do own it. So there's Saga Frontier 2. And, um, and it's a beautiful game. Um, I don't know a lot of people who, uh, know about it, um, or talk about it. Um, people in VG Collect do, uh, the video game collecting forum that I go to. Um, they also talk about Saga Frontier 1, which I recently picked up, I think. I'll have to double check. Um, and uh, I just loved the cartoon aspect of it. Um, I don't know if you can see from that screenshot right there, which is a little blown out. Yeah, I can't really see it very well. But anyway, there's like little speech bubbles. Um, let's see if I can find any images in the actual instruction booklets. And I love that the artwork was the instruction booklet back then. Let's see. Yeah, not a lot of images in this one, um, at least not full color, but um, I just love the style. Um, these are all definitely games that I will probably um, try to play and finish um, on cast one day, 
one day. I mean, it's uh, all about the backlog, right? But um, I have really fond memories of this game. It was one of the first games I played that um, involved multiple characters, um, multiple endings. Um, you take uh, you take control of different characters at different timelines, and they cross paths. And depending on the choices you make, um, it might determine when they cross paths and uh, how they react with each other. Um, so it's a it's a really really excellent game, uh, really beautiful. Um, let's see what else have I got here. Um, this was also one of my earliest uh, PlayStation RPGs that I loved, uh, Legend of Mana. Um, this was my first Mana game, actually. A lot of folks um, uh, grew up with Secret of Mana. Um, like I said, I didn't have a Super Nintendo. Um, but uh, so, I don't know. I just love the style. The, um, the characters were all very, very uh, cute and unique and um, beautiful animation. Um, and the idea of being able to create your own world um, and uh, you pick up pieces of the world and you recreate it basically. Um, not unlike, um, uh, what was that, uh, Dark Cloud, where um, you get pieces of your map and start rebuilding your town, but you get to choose where you place them and the placement will affect um, what happens in those areas. Um, and uh, this one did the same thing. And uh, it, a lot of people do not can do not consider uh, true to the Mana series um, in a lot of ways, just because it's completely different. Um, but I thought it was adorable, and like I said, it was one of my first Mana games, and um, I would love to come back to this. Um, like I said, it's one of my first RPGs. Um, <laughs> hey, hey, Artorius. I'm just talking a little bit about a. Uh, PS1 games. It's a 20-year anniversary of uh, PlayStation in Japan. Um, the American release for PlayStation didn't come until September of the following year, I believe. So I'll probably actually play some of these games um, once it gets closer to that. But I'm just talking about some of my favorite games that uh, I grew up with, um, some of my earliest RPGs. So here's Legend of Mana. Hey, yeah, Hughes. How's it going? Um, I had just shown... Uh, Saga Frontier 2, also another early one for me, favorite though. Um, of course, none of these, almost none of these I finished, but that's just how I am. Um, a quirky little one, um, Jade Cocoon 2, uh, 1 rather. Um, there is a Jade Cocoon 2 that I believe came out on PS2. Um, this was an excellent game. It, um, it uh, had a lot of uh, combination of uh, melding creatures together that you caught, um, not unlike uh, some other games that you guys may know of. Uh, just another beautiful game, uh, one of those hunter games, um, but uh, really good. I wouldn't really uh, put it with Pokemon, but um, I know some folks would, just because you think of battling monsters and such, but um, it's still pretty good. I know, I have so many memories from the PS1. It was one of the first systems I had where I really got into RPGs. Um, I didn't have the older Nintendo systems. I only had a regular Nintendo, then a Genesis, and then a PlayStation 1. And so, and I don't even know if they had uh, RPGs uh, on the Genesis, but, um, uh, and if they did, I didn't know about them. Um, I, it wasn't until I started playing my PlayStation that I started discovering uh, this genre called a uh, role-playing game, you know. Um, one of my other favorites, Chrono Cross. Um, this was also another situation kind of like um, Legend of Mana where I had not played the precursor because I didn't have um, uh, Super Nintendo um, or the older Nintendo series, but uh, so I did not get to play Chrono Trigger uh, on its original systems. Um, but uh, Chrono Cross, I loved. Um, I just love the idea of uh, having whichever characters you wanted in your team and having that affect who you talk to. I loved that so much. And this was uh, probably one of my first RPGs that I've ever finished. Um, of course, I never got the best ending, which, um, you know, is before uh, I really understood the internet and walkthroughs and such. Um, but, you know, I'm glad I didn't. I did find out later what the best ending 
and tails and I was like I would have never figured that out <laughs> but one day I definitely I definitely want to come back to this and play it because enough time has passed where I would not remember very much so I know Chrono Chrono Cross is amazing I love it I think the first Final Fantasy came out on Genesis but I could be confused yeah I'll have to look that up that's a good uh yeah I wonder that would be a good bit of trivia anyway there's my final one for tonight also another one of my favorites um, I definitely think of it when I'm playing Atelier Iris these days uh, since that's my other playthrough that I'm going through right now I'm going through two um, RPG playthroughs at least uh, at the moment uh, just because I need to not burn out. Uh, Radiant Historia is one on the DS, and um, Atelier Iris Eternal Mana on the PS2 is the other one. Um, but uh, Atelier Iris has a lot of cooking in it, and uh, Star Ocean was the first one of the first games I ever played that involved cooking and throwing random things together, and I love that. And I spent so many so many hours just throwing throwing stuff together and um and just wondering if it didn't make anything and uh and it was a lot of fun and um i mean i wonder if i'd have the patience for that these days instead of just looking up recipes but we'll find out when i when i finally come by to replay this i also have this on uh psp um along with the original uh star ocean the first one i have a bunch of the sequels as well so uh the star ocean series will be quite a long one um whenever i get around to them <laughs> you and me need to get together and play these you're naming almost all my faves oh i'm glad <laughs> oh Raiko, thanks so much for the uh, retweet. Thanks for the favorites, folks. But yeah, he was screwed up with a PS2. Well, you know, I have a PS2 now. I don't have a PS1 anymore, but you can still play all these games. Uh, that's the great thing about the PS2. That's personally why I think the PS2 is probably one of the best systems, because it had really good backwards compatibility and um, really excellent games, in addition to being able to play all the PS1 games. So. But, uh, but yeah, Artorias, um, I look forward to having you join me while uh, I go through some of those excellent, excellent games. So, <laughs> but anyways, uh, let's see, have we, nope, our soundtrack's still going. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to take a little time um, to just go through some of my favorite uh, PS1 games. I have a lot of PS2 games as well, um, but you know, these are some of the few, some of these I wish were my original ones from when I was younger, um, but, uh, you know, they've been lost over the ages, either stolen or who knows where, but a lot of these have been repurchased, and um, I look forward to playing them very soon and holding on to them for a very long time. I played on the PS2 until I was 12, then I was like, what's this PS1? My eyes cut open after playing... Devil May Cry, which felt like a basic RPG, and I found the PS1 more fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's it made me, you know, I wonder if I had played PS2 games first. No, because we had the PS1, so I must have played PS1 games originally. And then when the PS2 came out, um, I was like, great, awesome. That makes it easy. <laughs> but uh, let's see, let's just double check. Reaper's uh, messaging me. Mm, yeah. Uh, let's see. Let me just message him. All right. So I think uh, let's go ahead. Hey Globe, how's it going? Um, I I enjoyed watching your cast earlier. I was just talking about some of my PS2 games or PS1 games. Um, I'll just go through them real fast for anyone who may have missed it. There's Star Ocean, Chrono Cross, Jade Cocoon, Saga Frontier 2, and Legend of Mana. These were all some of my earliest PlayStation games um, that I ever played and some of my earliest um, earliest RPGs that I've ever played. You've got those games? I bet you do. We have a lot of uh, games in common, I know. <laughs> but uh, I just have really, really good memories of all those games, spending a lot of time with them, really enjoying them. So um, 
Uh, I do hope to play those soon on cast and finishing them for you guys. Well, not Jade Cocoon and Saga Frontier. Yeah, Saga Frontier is a beautiful one. Um, I really can't wait to uh, play uh, play that on cast again because it's been so many years and I never finished it and I'd love to see how it plays out. So, And I think I have the original Saga Frontier as well. I just re uh, purchased that for the first time uh, not too long ago. <laughs> hey, hey, Psycho, how's it going? <laughs> Psycho or Arcady, as some of us may know him. But uh, yeah, uh, like I said, um, just having a little chat about some of the PS1 games that I love. Uh, and we can go ahead and switch over to the Steam game. Let's see. And there it is. There it is. <laughs> Yeah, I was a bit nervous casting the game I played today since it was a bit weird. <laughs> uh, you know, I th I think I finished Star Ocean. I don't recall either. <laughs> it's one of those things where I'd probably try to start with the first Star Ocean since I do own that now um, and go through it because I haven't played uh, the sequels and um, I bought them anyway, uh, but I'm excited for it. So, but uh. Oh, swimming is wearing me out by having meat tomorrow. Oh, psycho. Well, enjoy the game that I'm going to play. It's super, super mellow, so it might just put you to sleep. I just want to give you a warning. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get the volume up for the game. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's get that here. And check on how everything's looking you guys will have to let me know how the game audio is once we start playing it might be it'll be pretty quiet um you're only going to hear some ambient stuff um initially but um hopefully hopefully it'll be good for you guys um once we go so let me double check my options here uh graphics let's see show now yeah We'll keep it at that. Max. Ocean blur. All right. Controls. Mouse sensitivity. Let's see how that works. Toggle. Back. Let's see how that works for me. I want to go play, find all my PS1 games and PS2 stuff in my storage. Some of those games helped me through those confusing teenagers. Same here, Artorias. Same here. Not ready for bed. Probably going to play Stanley Parable. Or... Yeah, sounds good, Psycho. We'll enjoy the cast while you're here. It's good to see you. It's been a while. I haven't been on uh, ARC's chat in a little bit. Never had a PlayStation as a kid, Game Boy Color, then Xbox, and a shared DS with my sister and 360. PlayStation is great. I didn't have um, the Super Nintendos or Nintendo 64, so I missed out on that big chunk. But um, I didn't have the original Xbox either. But I did have a Game Boy, and I p had a PS1, PS2, and um, have super fond memories of those. So um, when I found out it was the 20 year anniversary, um, I was like, yep, yeah, time to. Uh, Time to get in on that. <laughs> Alright, so yes, we are going to start a new game. Use the arrow keys to walk and look around using the mouse. Let me get my games out of the way here so I can get full access of this mouse. Get comfortable here. You have an N64 castle a long time ago. What did you play, Globe? What did you play on your N64? Alright, let's see. So we're going to hit start. Get some rain noise. I currently have. Hi, Mom. Uh, yeah. uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so love you. See you soon. Bye. June 
It was a little too fast for me when I was uh, trying to uh, uh, test this game. I was like, oh, this game's gonna make me motion sick. Um, I need to turn it down just a little bit more. Some random games I have. I think I cast a perfect dark. Nice. My sister has my Wii in her college room. <laughs> and college dorm. Oh, nice. That's a nice, nice setup. That's for sure. Oops. The freedom to change and customize my characters and clothing, equipment, and skills in those games gave everyone who played them a sense of freedom. Individuality, which is great because teenagers are them. It's so true. I mean, our Teresa. Uh, so many of those years, we wanted to just uh, kind of not be us and focus on being other people, you know? It was so awkward to be a teenager. Alright, so it looks like a... Looks like a right click is a zoom. Caitlin Greenbrier, Portland, 270, June 6, 1995. Bad Majora's Mask and Super Mario World on it. <laughs> Hold right mouse or left shift to cl look closer. Katie, I'm sorry I can't be there to see you, but it is impossible. Please, please don't go digging around trying to find out where I am. I don't want anyone to know. We'll see each other again someday. Don't be worried. I love you, Sam. explain the key that's over here. Press 1 or I to check the contents of your backpack. Okay. Hughes may be playing the first three Jack and Dexter games on PSO. Wow, that's quite a feat. Wow. <clears throat> Old Christmas decorations. to play Super Mario World with Magical Restart Magician. Oh. I was never, honestly, um, I've never been good about uh, Mario games. All right, Christmas stuff. Grab cup. Use right mouse or left shift to examine a health object. Christmas 
That 599 Christmas deck there. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's why I make my little cousin go play cl classic RPGs. At first they're like, but I want to play COD. I tell them, give it give it a night. I know it seems old, just give it a shot. So I come check on them in about two hours. In one case, my cousin was completely engrossing Kingdom Hearts on the PS2. is great, honestly. I believe RPGs help people find themselves. I think so too. I think it's really good for um, folks to learn um, compassion and uh, just be in someone else's uh, shoes, you know? Um, I think that's really important. I guess I can't go through my bag. That was the first reference to Magical Restart Magician that he had edited over the message, and technically this is a second reference, even though this is his first. Uh, no. I do not get the reference. <laughs> Sorry. Looks like that's my stuff. Apparently I can't go through it. Seems odd that I don't have the house key, but maybe they're just not worried about it. Okay. They just have to let me know if the sound effects are a little too much. Spooky. I hope this isn't a scary game. I'm not very good with uh, scary games. <laughs> I'm definitely spooked out. Let's see. Tissue box. Turn lamp on. Wow. She lives in a really big house. Let's see. Your name is Caitlin in this game. Three random things. Yeah, random things, yeah. That thunder. Uh, the next thing is that it's actually raining where I am right now. I think that may have something to do with me wanting to, uh, being in the mood to play this, I guess. <laughs> it looks very up my alley. Let's see, Terrence Greenbeer. Destination, Boone County, Oregon. Box, kitchen boxes. Oh. Okay. August 1st, 94. It looks like maybe we just, uh, maybe we had just moved in here? From August, 94. Dear it's Katie, like... so much has changed. Even just since you've been away, we moved into this house. I'm in a new school, and my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't feel real, but I'm not gonna let it phase me. I used to tell you everything, and if I can't do it in person, because you're off gallivanting around who knows where, I'll tell it to this journal, just like I was talking to you. Arcalis, thank you so much for the host. <laughs> She's that's expensive, right? <laughs> Two thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars. I mean a certain amount of it is the delivery. It takes about a thousand dollars for delivery insurance. That's a lot of stuff, but it's not that much stuff. Oh well, yeah. Five boxes, eight boxes in the kitchen. It's a lot of stuff. <laughs> hmm. Let's check our inventory. Oh. Hmm. Get your family to help, man, right? <laughs> Let's see, it looks like my passport. It's my passport. I got it to go on my Europe trip. Let's see. April National Passport. This is my boarding pass back for my year in Europe. Hmm. Spare key that was hidden under old Christmas deck. Okay, so there's some maps, journals. Hmm. That's me a cereal bar and a candy cane, nice. Psycho is ready, ready for the holidays. I guess, uh, very nice combo. I'm here with some chocolate 
coke, cocoa wing, and a glass of milk. Maybe, maybe, maybe. cocoa wing, cake, co, cocoa wing. I'm trying to figure out what uh, the cocoa wing is. <laughs> on lights. This game would totally freak me out if it actually turned out to be a horror game. <laughs> I wouldn't I would just have to turn it off. <laughs> Sparkle. Let's see. Okay. Alright, there's a lamp there. Flash Stephen King, the blank page. Oh, cookies. Okay. <laughs> I like some Oreos, but they're not in the house. Never been a big fan of Oreos. It uh, varies on the flavor for me. I I do like regular Oreos. Uh, with with like soy milk or something. Soft plus. No thicker. can't be that person. <laughs> Put it all back. Put it all back. Apparently I can't grab the towels. Okay. If I were to play this game I might get distracted playing with all doors, right? <laughs> oh, golden ones. I, you know, I'm not a big fan of... I don't know. Do I like... Golden ones. For a second there, I was like, no, I'm locked in. Okay, let's see. Let's see where to go now. Okay, to shoes. A thunderstorm. Would be creepy. Receipts and stuff. They don't keep anything interesting. There, it looks like. <laughs> looks like there's a note in there. Stamps and stuff. Directions to work from new house. All right. Travel time one hour ten minutes. That sucks. Sounds like a terrible commute. <laughs> Alright. More business cards, receipts. Looks like my house. <laughs> uh, what about the lemon birthday cake and berry flavors? And I worked on all of those when she worked for Nabisco's attempt a few years back. <laughs> Guess no one's home. I'm gonna go and turn this light off. We don't want to waste. I don't want to waste energy here. Pencil? Okay. Katie's departure. Daniel from the old neighborhood called. He wants to come see the new house. Call him back. Mom, Daniel's a total weirdo. The only reason I ever have hang out, hung out with him in the first place is he had a Nintendo when we were little. <laughs> That's pretty funny. All right. 
was gonna say they really don't make use of all their storage space, but it's probably because they just moved in. Sam. Sam. Hello. Sam. Sam, where are you? Really? I need to talk to you. Please be there. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Bye. It's one in the morning. <laughs> it's one in the morning, so um, so, I was streaming 14 earlier and we had a long conversation about different cake players. No, okay. <laughs> um, so, Artorius, who I am in the game is I'm Caitlin Greenbrier. Um, and it looks like there's a family portrait over there, so we'll know a little bit more. Um, Sam, Katie, Mom, and Dad. There, there I am, up there. Sam must me be my uh, younger sister, I guess. They're my parents. So you're Katie? I am indeed Katie. Okay. Ah, uh, old phones. <laughs> Alright, well, let's go through this door. This, this is the bedroom. Right here. Porch. Okay. And come back here. I kept thinking you're the mom. Oh no no no. I'm the uh, I'm the daughter. One of the daughters, I guess. I didn't know if Sam was a boy or a girl. Um, and um, I told my mom that uh, she didn't have to pick me up because it's a uh, it's a super late flight. I guess that's my mom. She must be a conservationist. Those are some dull ass lights, right? <laughs> Seriously. Travel, normal traveling game. Oh man, my my games totally had those weird stains on them like that. <laughs> Let's put that back. Let's see what else we got here. front hall stuff. Dear Jan, it's so nice to hear from you again. All this new house business sounds like quite the adventure. Remember the little dorm room we shared freshman year when we were miserable fantasizing when we were miserable fantasizing about our dream homes? I always said I wanted a mansion. You said you just wanted a house in the woods. Look who got both. Somebody up there likes you. I could use some of that magic. Send me some lotto numbers and I'll play them seriously. But I shouldn't be complaining about this good old split level we've had since Bob got transferred to Winnipeg. We just got new vinyl siding. Jealous yet? Let me know if you ever want to trade places. So how are the girls doing? Has Katie left on her big European adventure yet? Speaking of jealous, right back soon. I miss you, Ruby. Carol. Alright. Let's see if we got anything else in here. Mm, don't look like it. Yeah, these lights aren't very strong. <laughs> mm, let's see. 
phone books. Oh, phone books now. <laughs> uh, uh, it burns. It burns. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Just not a. I'm not anti-religion. I just, I'm not, I'm not really a religious person. Oh, my old track trophy. I was a track champion. First place jump event. Oh yeah. <laughs> this game has me so intrigued. I don't know why. It's a uh, you know same here. I haven't quite figured out uh, what entices me about this game. Part of me is like kind of terrified that something's gonna happen, but I have to keep telling myself like nothing's gonna happen. It's just a very mellow game. Um, Sweet, we did. We got first place in the uh, relay. Good job, me. <laughs> All right. Guess uh, what we got in the map? It's more the foyer. Uh, okay. Wonder why that's up. Seems odd. Is there a key here? Maybe not key. Okay. Close that. Hmm. Let's see. I guess I'll go down this hallway before I go upstairs. Not going that way. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Uh, press 2 or M to check your location in the house. That shows a little lock there. Okay, good to know. Hey, it's one of the postcards I sent. Paris. August 2nd, 94. Hey, Mom and Dad and Sam. I'm in Paris. I've done many Parisian things, including eating Les Petits Déjeuners and wearing a beret. I'm going to have lots of film to develop when I get back. Sam, I'm bringing you back something from the Shakespeare Book Company since you are my favorite sister. Love you all, Katie. <laughs> One Arbor Hill. Weird! <laughs> Probably because it's uh, the new address, and she's not used to doing that. That would be weird, though, wouldn't it? Like, if your parents moved to a new house while you were away, and this isn't a house that you know, like, that would really creep me out. More receipts and stuff, looks like. Weird obituary. Oscar Doc Masson. Boone County died peacefully last month in his home. Mr. Masson was born. House that would be his home for the rest of his life. In the decades preceding his passing, he was seldom seen outside his house. His survivors include his nephew, Terence Greenbrier, as well as the spirit of the people who provide wellness and comfort. I wonder if that's a. Uh... Huh, I think Terence is my dad? Let's see. I think, I think they said, yeah, that was my dad's uncle. Hmm. Wow, is that what's happening? I wonder if it is. Yeah, it's strange, you know? I mean, in a way, it makes sense, because you're kind of like picking up all these things, and you're like, where am I? <laughs> and that's probably why you don't know the layout of the house yet. DeSoto. Can't I keep these pens? What if I want to keep these pens? Mm, okay. Let's grab the pack of cards. Ooh, that lag though. <laughs> and a little bit of a frame derpage there. You can't have the pencil, I'm sorry, it's not a doubt, right? That's like, let me have some things. Well, this house is kind of falling apart. I like that touch though, it's nice. 
Another closet, looks like. Welcome, new student. We hope that you are as excited about your first day at Goodfellow High School as we are. Please be sure to bring the following with you on your first day of classes so that you can get right into the swing of things. Sturdy folder with pockets, each of your six class periods, one line notebook per period, or one large notebook with six divided sections, at least six pens, one box of colored pencils, standard combination lock for your sign locker, nutritious lunch, a positive attitude not crossed off. <laughs> Please remember to get plenty of sleep the night before and be ready for the first bell to ring at 8 a.m. See you soon, and again, welcome. Um, God, this ditto paper brings back a lot of memories and you know things like standard combination lock for your locker um it's like i remember that and it feels weird <laughs> it feels weird to remember that <laughs> oh my god you are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house so it's the first day of school and there i am introducing myself to the class and i say that i just moved into the house on arbor hill all of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. They just stood there, pushing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. <sighs> Great. Psycho House Girl? Makes me... I wonder if uh, there's a history to this house. I hope it's not a haunted house. <laughs> Please don't tell me I have a I have a scary game because I'm not good with horror films. The fact that uh, that's the Betsy. Awesome. The fact that I am just alone in a house with rain like terrifies me, guys. <laughs> I'm just like so not good with horror games. <laughs> Let's see, all right, well, that was a closet. Let's see where else I am. This is a severe weather warning. The Northwest Weather what? Service reports high winds and torrential rain conditions affecting the following counties. Austin County, Boone County, Dawn County, Tacoma County, and Wistaria County. Residents are strongly urged to stay indoors and secure all windows and doors. Flood conditions are expected at lower elevations. Falls out of chair. Press C or control to crouch. Dude, the open blinds look like people. Really? <laughs> Where? <laughs> this is a severe weather warning. Oh, this? <laughs> Was it when I went over here? <laughs> that would have terrified me, right? <laughs> as far as I know about this game, there's not supposed to be people in here. <laughs> that would have really freaked me out. Oh, hey, are you the new girl, Sam? I'm Tommy. I'm... Uh, on the... Turn the light back off and go stand in the hallway and look into the TV room. It's seriously done. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Maybe you're the same way with horror, horror games that, that I am. I'm awful. I'm awful with them. <laughs> Are you the new girl, Sam? I'm Tommy. I'm at the back behind you wave if you get this and right back hi Tommy yes I'm Samantha and yes I'm new what's up I just thought since you're new maybe you could use a friend I don't have a lot of friends either and so I thought um, I'd ask something if you don't mind do you mind yes or no 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 I don't mind what you want to ask was it just your uncle who went psycho or does it run in the family God damn assholes <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Sam. So I guess this used to be my uncle's house. Which is kind of creepy. I mean, oh no, I love horror, just scared of them. <laughs> Blood conditions are expected at lower elevations. 
But I can see why you thought those were people. <laughs> now I want to know more about this, uh, yeah, right? God, teenagers are the worst. Makes me wonder about this. Uh, seldom seen outside his home. Hmm. Interesting. It's interesting that we decided to move into uh, the uncle's house. Don County, the Kelma County, and Wistaria County. Residents are strongly urged to stay indoors and secure all windows and doors. Flood conditions are expected at lower elevations. Yeah, I need some light in here. Or some music in here. <laughs> But uh, do let me know how the audio is, if it's too loud, um, over the from my voice. So, is that a good one? Remember the first John Russell knows that it was a flight in not just another James Bond. A high puzzle. Terry, hey man, how you been? I know you're a published author and everything now, but my editor at High Five, Aficionado, has too much review work to go around, and he's looking for another freelancer. Naturally, I thought of you. Audio sounds great, he's a tad bit too loud. I can hear you, but that one's just hard. Okay, let me turn it down. It, it's a little loud even for me. Let's turn it down. Right. Let's try that. And turn it down here, too. Alright, so you can let me know there. Alright, Psycho, get some good, good rest. Yeah, I want you guys to be able to hear the soundtrack. Um, people have said a lot of good things about um, the music and that it kind of adds to it. So we got here. Alright. 10 out of 10. Great. I'm glad. <laughs> um, let's see. We were saying in your last letter um, how much of a pain it's been trying to find a publisher for your latest work of literature and writing stereo reviews is dead simple. Sit at home with a glass of scotch, listen to some records, and write it up how it sounds, and then get paid. I included some issues of the mag to use as examples. If you're interested, send some samples to my editor. And tell him your old college, college uh, chum Mike sent you. Here's the address. Do it! <laughs> Alright, Hughes. Enjoy Lurk Mode. It's good to see you, by the way. Let's see. Let's try... Girl Scout side. Andromeda Stream. <laughs> Airplane Moonraker. Nice. <laughs> Stays active because he doesn't have any things. <laughs> Beetlejuice, Robocop. Oh, that's a good mix. Blade Runner, Director's Cut. Nice. JFK, X Files Season 1. Oh man, like all those X Files. Pilot. Makes me want to watch. Uh, makes me want to watch X Files. Clash of Titans. Look all these vinyls. The Time Machine Clue, nice. Top Gun. Ghostbusters and Labyrinth, awesome. <laughs> they got some good movies, right? Got some good movies. The heaven at the end edge of the world. 
Samantha Greenbeer, page grade two, story of the turtle people, part one. <laughs> Have to have another edge of the world. Look at those cute pictures. Oh, well, and those turtle stickers. Captain Allegra looked off at the ocean. It went on forever, or so it seemed. Someday she would find the edge and get to the paradise there. Then she heard a cannon fire. Boom. It was the black pirate ship. She yelled, I thought we lost him at Horse Island. The first mate said, looks like you thought too soon. The black ship came al up along the side. Captain Black himself came out on the deck of the black ship. He yelled to Captain Allegra, you're never going to find the edge. There ain't no paradise and your father were a liar. Captain Allegra yelled back, then why do you keep following us, you imbecile? The first mate yelled out, we'll stop you, Captain Black. We'll find the edge of the world and you'll see her father was no liar. The battle kept going until Captain Allegra's ship got away. Now west, she said, and the ship sailed towards the sunset. <laughs> Aww. That's very sweet. Oops. Wrong button. <laughs> Sorry. This is a severe weather warning. The Northwest right. Weather Service reports high winds with oh, torrential rain the following mm -hmm. county. Mm -hmm. County, Blue, 10 out of 10. <laughs> County, County. Residents are strongly urged Sam to thought this might help making friends. Blood conditions are expected Feeling lonely? It's a piece of cake to make friends. Never worry again about having friends to spend time with. This book will teach you to make friends even when you're shy. Oh god, look at that cover. <laughs> there, god. <laughs> well, that's not patronizing you at all. You know that feeling? Where the first moment you see someone, it's like they have a big gold star around them, and you have to get to know them. Well, there's this girl. I think she's a senior. She's usually dressed kind of punk, but sometimes I see her in this, like, army uniform. And she's always drawing in this notebook, looking so intense. I had no idea how I would ever, like, have an excuse to talk to her. Till I noticed she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven every day after school. Street Fighter? That's awesome. Hold on. <laughs> let me bump this up just a little bit more so that I could hear it too. Um, let me do it this way. And do that. I want to make sure you guys can hear the audio of the uh, game. Let's do that. Okay. This is a severe weather warning. The Northwest mm -hmm. Weather Service reports high winds with torrential rain conditions I'll affecting get down the here. following counties. Austin County. Dark Crystal, Blue nice. Dawn County, Tecelma County. X-Files. And Wistaria County. Residents are strongly urged to stay indoors and okay. secure all windows and doors. Flood conditions are expected at lower elevations. Alright, they just got random plates here. Come on, family. Why you gotta be so messy? Fizz right, ginger ale. Oh good, get that book out of my space. This that's is that's not how you make friends no matter what the book says, right? How you make friends is you start playing PS1. <laughs> Hi Terry, in close, please find a pioneer unit with remote and cables. We need a half page review for the October issue, so that gives you about two weeks to get us a copy for edit. Standard stuff like you gave us on the uh, CLDD 502. It's a combi player, so check its CD playback with a few discs, as well as laser disc, and they want us to definitely hit the signal to noise ratio and toss link stuff for high end buyers. Looking forward to your take on it. Enjoy the unit. Thanks. Getting some. Let's see. No fi sender. Is a severe weather warning. <laughs> well, hi there. Is it? It feels Austin nice County. to me. <laughs> but Dawn you probably just got It is a little chilly outside. Resident Feel free to move stuff around and run into the camera. <laughs> we got a uh, got a wild reaper here. <laughs> How's it going? Sorry. <laughs> it's alright. 
Yeah. It's tight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're cloping. Yeah, I know. Well, um, <laughs> Artorius says hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh, don't blow out their, their eardrums now. <laughs> Look at me. I'm all, like, missing my shoulder. And <laughs> Here, this will help. There you go. <laughs> um... <laughs> Globe says hello as well. Hello there. <laughs> oh, hi there. I showed off my uh, PS1 games to them. Yeah, did you have a good conversation? Yeah, yeah, I just kind of chatted about uh, what I what I enjoyed about them and the good memories I have of playing these, that these are probably my first RPGs ever. Um, and, uh, and, yeah. Note, note that there's no Final Fantasy in that stack of games. <laughs> I didn't know about Final I don't even know how I found out about these. <laughs> I think I, the, I assume maybe I saw them at the video store, the rental store. I wonder if I rented them. I have no idea how I got a hold of uh, RPGs when I was growing up. Because we didn't have uh, Gamefly, you know. So I don't know what I did. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> All right, get that snacky snack. <laughs> but um <laughs> Did you need to get dinner? Have you eaten? I haven't eaten. Yeah, there's turkey. There's Thanksgiving dinner in there. Otherwise, if you want to order Chinese, you can do that. Have you eaten? Uh, I've eaten. But you know, I don't mind having Chinese for leftovers or to take to work tomorrow or anything like that. So, <laughs> don't give me that look. <laughs> well, time for bed. All right, Hughes, have a good one. Thanks so much for coming on by. Yeah, Final Fantasy just wasn't one of my... Uh, Hughes, I love you. <laughs> good night. Uh, Final Fantasy just never got onto my radar until I was much older, so that just took a while. We gotta do something about that. I know, we will, we will. And I mean, I have the originals on various formats, so I'll play them. <laughs> but, yeah, it's up to you if you want to eat some of the leftovers, they're still good. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, too lazy. Too lazy? Yeah. <laughs> well, do what you want. <laughs> Otherwise, you can call and order some Chinese food. Or do it online. <laughs> anyway, I get back into the game. You do this. Um, you do this. But your uh, laptop is in the other room. I know. So. I might have peeped in on your stream. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. See how it looked. Does it look okay? And to, to take care of some perversion. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it looks great. It's That's little, good. It's a little funky funky going on with the headset. Oh, with the headset itself? Yeah, it Is it just because it's reflective, perhaps? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, I think I see that. I see that. It's, it's not terrible. <laughs> no, no, I, I do see that, though. That's a little weird. It but happens. I mean, it's going to happen. I didn't even notice it when, uh, I guess when I was testing it, I was uh, not checking those settings, so. There's a way to prevent it. I, if we got softer watt. Or lights that come light. from the side or something, or. Mm hmm there's, well, I mean, it's softer wattage lights on the same color temperature. Mm -hmm. And we could even get hook up from Steven to get those fancy red and blue or just, you know, the blue lights to, for backlighting. To mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. but, sorry. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, make sure you eat something. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, this is a severe you know where stuff is. Like I said, the turkey and everything is just fine. It's, it's painting now. It's watercolor painting. County, Austin County, Boone County, Dawn Let's see. County, County, is anything down here? Grab highlighter. Strongly urge to stay indoors. Don't let me use anything. <laughs> So I can Blood throw shit. Are expected to <laughs> <elevation>. <laughs> mm -hmm. Repeats on here? No. Damn it. 
<laughs> Look at that greasy pizza box, guys. Yeah, you could order pizza. Whoa, was someone making a fort down here? <laughs> I think someone was... This maybe is someone was in a fort uh, watching the movies. That makes sense. That's what it looks like. Miss. Okay. Miss. Dawn County, what else we got in here? County, and Wistaria County. Bratmobile. Nice. To stay indoors and secure all windows it's all these music. Flood conditions are expected at lower elevations. Music things. Dr. Jeter's. <laughs> Hauntings and poltergeists. Find out the truth behind stories that were familiar even to our pagan ancestors. Discover how to tell a hoax from a general hunt, genuine hunting, how to categorize and understanding strange phenomena you might encounter. Alright, welcome back, Artorius. <laughs> um, cool. It looks like a, looks like a cool little fort that they had here. That looked comfy. Looks like a comfy setup. All these pens I can grab, but can't do anything with. This is a severe weather warning. The Northwest Weather Service reports high winds and torrential rain conditions affecting the following counties: Austin County, Boone County, Dawn County, mm -hmm. Tecumseh County, and Wistaria County. Residents are strongly urged to stay indoors and Mom's secure old work, all windows and doors. Like. Blood conditions are expected at lower elevations. It's interesting that um, some of the description she it mentions as if she recognizes stuff, which is nice. Because some I'm um, just like, wouldn't she recognize some of these things around here? Guess nothing in there. Uh, dropping stuff off while I was talking like that earlier about RPGs. My boyfriend brought me Subway rather than grabbing West granola West bar. Nice. Nice. And the coaster. Nice. Dawn County, Tecumseh County, and Wistaria County. Residents are strongly urged to stay indoors and secure all the shows. <laughs> Blood conditions are expected at lower elevations. <laughs> I don't... It's, it's kind of funny. I don't know why I find it funny, but it is. <laughs> Candle. Okay. This is a severe weather warning. Too bad I can't like those. Weather guess. service reports high winds and torrential rain conditions affecting can't the pick following those up counties: either. Austin County, Boone County. Oh, I'll go ahead and turn that off because no one's here. Close the pizza box. Hmm. Okay. Uh, scary. Turn on the lights. They say that a jack of all trades is a master of none. I have to disagree. Mastery is not a question of spe specialization, but sureness of purpose and dedication to craft. If you happen to be in the market for a combination LD CD player, you'll be glad to know that Pioneer seems to share this particular like that word processor though. John Russell opened his eyes and saw them, the, the stars twink, the stars, twinkling as if he were lying in the grass in his family's yard in Massachusetts, even though that place was a million miles away. Though he blinked the sleep from his eyes, looking through the carbon reinforced safety glass of the space station, Archimedes. Yes, he was a long way from home, but the future needed him. John, John Russell's head swam. Ah. Uh, 
my girlfriend and I talk about. Don't know how peeps will react sometimes. <laughs> but you're cool, so I figure you don't care. I don't. I don't care. <laughs> Either way. John Russell's head swam. He felt incredibly drunk. Despite not having touched a drop in hours, he vomited onto his feet, his bare feet. He stared for a moment, processing his sick flecked toenails, scanning up his bare shins, bare knees. He was completely naked. He looked up and met the eyes of a gorgeous blonde woman, wearing a, f a tight polymer fiber tunic. Then fabric, the fabric that strained at the seams to contain her generous bosom was emblazoned with the phrase, Matter Transference Operator. Then he passed out. John Russell had crossed the gap, the gap, gap in time. Only messages had passed before, but now a man. They needed him, now more than ever. Changing the past was no longer good enough. The instructions from the council had been clear. What to procure, what to construct from it, how to assemble it. Uh, so he made the machine. How to transport him bodily across time, and now he stood there on the bridge of the starship Archimedes. Command of the vessel, because only he, who had saved the president's life twice before, could help the naive crew to their destiny, the fate of the galaxy. Looks like my dad's work. Oh man, haven't had a drop in hours. <laughs> Back to basics, sent back in time to Dallas again. Well, if JF JFK wasn't JFK. <laughs> Chinese, Japanese, Lebanese. It looks like a magic bullet theory. Do better. Save emergency. Looks like my dad was probably really into conspiracy theories and liked writing. That's what it looks like. All right, just random three ring binder. I don't think there's anything down here. Hmm. <laughs> Come on, I'm trying to put you back. That's good enough. That's good enough for me. <laughs> uh, huh. I don't know if looks like it. Looks like you got into conspiracy theories and was an author to write about them. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Bunch of files. Huh, I don't have the uh, number for that. I don't think he'd have it just lying around, honestly. More phone books. Ooh, look guys, they're playing Five Nights at Freddy's. I'm joking. <laughs> that would terrify me right now. <laughs> um, insurance. Unclear. Wiring in the house is technically up to safety and amperage requirements, however, multiple layers of wiring have been added into structure over the last hundred years. System is frequently unpredictable. Lights blink out for no clear reason. Pressure on floorboards and door frames disrupts circuits wired directly behind the surface. Properly reworking the electrical system would be highly destructive to walls floors. After discussion, since there are no current safety concerns, issues will not be addressed. That sucks. Uh, I don't necessarily like that. That sounds creepy. <laughs> Put in there. Anything in here? Booze, maybe? No. Damn it. Where's your booze? Mm -hmm. Ooh, I just found it. <laughs> I was hoping to throw it against the wall. <laughs> ah, all right, I didn't do anything. Okay. 
<laughs> uh, it's probably haunted. Might be. Might be. Especially with that book sitting up on its own spine like that, right? Looks like a library. It's a hell of a library. Dad's second book. Huh. First a poltergeist book, now this. Good signs, good signs. Accidental pariah. The message from our future saved the president's life once, but within the next 24 hours, there'll be another attempt. Lines of communication are down. Hmm. <laughs> oh, damn. Is that what I think it is? Possible TOS violation, she doesn't have a shirt. <laughs> Japan's bloody war on dolphins. Ladies in the ring, the woman of wrestling. <laughs> I love that she's like, gosh, dad, really? <laughs> wow, it's just. I'll just give that our little secret dad. <laughs> guys, guys gotta take care of business, you know? <laughs> Stranger under my roof. Parents of teens. Oh man. <laughs> I'm glad my parents were not like that. Just not the best place for that, but who am I to say? <laughs> right? Well, I feel like if you live with kids, it's like nothing is safe, honestly. Dear Terrence, David asked me to write you regarding the reviews you've been submitting the last few months. Frankly, they're becoming more trouble than they're worth from an editing standpoint. There's a word limit. It's your job to stay under it, not mine to cut back to it. Even then, it's becoming harder and harder to weed out the tangents and non-sequiturs from the usable copy without heavy rewrites. The readers of Home Theater Aficionado want to hear about the quality and value of the hardware, not ruminations on your childhood. If it were up to me, I wouldn't be writing this letter. I'd just be cutting you loose. There's tons of guys half your age who could take half your rate to write stuff I could actually use, but David's known you for a long time and he's a boss, so I'm giving you one more shot on his say-so. You should write him a nice note, thanking him for his patience and generosity. Look through your old stuff and start submitting reviews like that again. Then everyone will be happy. Damn. Alright. Mm -hmm. What's on the folder? Or am I seeing things? Oh. 0451. <laughs> that might... That might be the uh, code. Thank you, Artorius. I know you weren't trying to backseat. <laughs> or maybe you are in a very sly, sly way. But that's okay with me. <laughs> At least this time around. I'm glad you're being observant and um, I'm glad you're also enjoying. Okay, good. I didn't just see. <laughs> A little tired. <laughs> All these tissue boxes. Fresh. Readers tell us about their worst moments. 90210, does anybody still care? <laughs> Sarah Hollis, not gathering this. Sto true stories as a teenage drag queen. Interesting. More newspapers. Accidental. Unreliable. <laughs> Coming up with titles, I see. Accidental profit. Accidental profit. It's a nice little nook area. A long day, less long last day of work. Don't work again until after. Wow, that's nice, Artorias. That's really nice. I um I get two weeks off of work. Um, I don't have to work the week of Christmas or the week of New Year's. So 
0451. Let's go ahead and try that. I'm glad you noticed that, because I would have been like, I don't know, I don't see anything. 0451. Uh, and before porn stash. Dear Mr. Mason, please find and close your original document. Add type copy for your records. A notarized copy has been filed at our offices. Thank you for entrusting our firm with this important matter. This is, uh, oh, this is my uncle's will. I, Oscar Masson, possessing full competence. Um, I declare that I'm a lifelong resident, unmarried, have no children. I declare that I have no outstanding debts. I do hereby bequeath every item um, to my nephew. In the event that uh, my nephew passes, the bequest to him shall fall and the same is bequeathed to his children as ordered by age and competence as stewards of the estate. I subscribe my name to this will on this 13th day of August. Huh. Interesting. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that's how we got the house. Is uh, um, it was left to us. It's a nice house, so that's understandable. Okay. Let's see if there's anything down here. I don't think so. Nothing of interest. So that's your uncle, right? Yep. That was my uncle. Uh, I'm just gonna leave these lights on. <laughs> I think I'll turn this one off. Okay. How are we, how are we in the house? Dad's office, library, TV room. Coupons. It's a lot of coupons. <laughs> Tortilla chips. Nice. Hmm. This must have been my mom's. Hey, Spookster, how's it going? <laughs> Reap just got home not too long ago. I don't know if you were working working with him tonight. Oops, hit X. <laughs> it's okay, welcome back, Artorius. You didn't miss too much. <laughs> just me freaking out. <laughs> Music room, okay, I guess that's where I am. Not freaking out, but you know, just like... Not sure where I am, but it says I'm in the music room, so. Oh, yeah, look at all these albums. World history. Do not miss textbooks. Below are two stories. Events are all out of order. Get a sheet of line paper. Write reproductive system worksheet number six at the top. Then choose one of the two stories and rewrite it. Begin with the title and your name. Find a topic sentence and begin your paragraph. Put the sentences in chronological order and make sure the last sentence is a good concluding statement. Nope, I didn't work today. Tell him I said hi. I will, I will. He might be lurking. I'm not sure. He might be trying to get some food together. Oh god, the menstrual cycle. <laughs> Travels through a fallopian tube, over releases the ovum. About two weeks later, since the lining of the uterus is not needed for pregnancy, it comes out through her vagina. It's incredible how the female body knows how to prepare for pregnancy. <laughs> the egg doesn't mean a sperm, it dissolves while the ovum is developing and the lining of the uterus is getting thick and soft. Another ovum starts to develop and while the ovaries and process begins again. An ovum starts to develop. Or, 
I'm producing the testicles, I go from the vas deferens to the urethra, life of a sperm cell. I go through the cervix and the uterus and into fallopian tubes in search of the excel. I develop for two or three months in the uh, epididymis. The penis becomes erect, I leave the epididymis and travel up into the body through the vas deferens. As I pass the prostate gland, the seminal vesicles, vesicles and the calpers gland, fluids are gathered, added so I can live long and swim more easily. Without me, an egg cell couldn't begin the amazing process of reproduction. The urethra carries me along with about 200 million other sperm out of the penis in a process called ejaculation. If I can find the ovum before the other sperm do, I will be the winner, part of a fertilized egg. <laughs> the more you know. Oh, oh, Samantha, look what you did. The Menstrual Cycle, a novella. The early morning of September 1st, 1939. Essa Glatz stares out the window of the train as it travels from Vienna back to her home village of Wellam in Poland. As the train rambles, rumbles along, the sun rises over the countryside. She can only think of her door, Borislav, the boy she is engaged to wed. Meanwhile, deep within her guts, an ovum starts to develop. As this train approaches its destination, her heart races. The lining of the uterus is getting thick and soft. <laughs> oh my god. As Essa shot steps off the train, her eyes dart quickly across the gathered crowd. Then here, and there, her dear Boris, still in the baker's smock. He must have dropped his early morning duties at his father's shop to come meet her. Her heart skips a beat. The ovary releases the ovum. It travels through the Philippine tube. Over the hissing of the stream of the steam engines, a deep hum grows. It's coming from the sky. Dark shadows pass over the station. A whistling sound, Essa, her thoughts only a second faster than the bombs, reaches out toward her dear Boris across a crowd. Their eyes look, and the moment freezes. The flash and smoke envelops him almost in instantly. In the assault by German forces, almost 75% of the people in her hometown are killed. The rest, including Essa and for a time Borislav, huddle in the half-destroyed church. He is blind. His legs are missing. Bandage with torn bed sheets. Essa's egg will not be meeting a sperm. It dissolves. <laughs> Let me back in a bit, guys. Dra drag my boyfriend to the airport to pick his brother up. Yep, sounds good. Fly safe, Artorius. About two weeks later, Boris loses his grip on life. Essa has given up her rations to keep Boris alive, but in the end, nothing can save him. Since the lining of the uterus is not needed for pregnancy, it comes out through the vagina. Essa vows to survive. She sets off to join the Polish resistance as a, during, as a daring spy and saboteur. Another ovum starts to develop in one of the ovaries, and the process begins again. It is incredible how the female body knows how to prepare for pregnancy. <laughs> That's brilliant. See me. <laughs> oh, Sam. Mm -hmm. Another Dr. Jitters. <laughs> Let's see. I've done the best I could to keep from feeling blue. Can't get you off my mind. What am my goal? Dear Mr. Greenbrier, I write to inform you that unfortunately Mercury Books will be unable to publish a follow-up to The Accidental Pariah. Despite the low sales of The Accidental Savior, we went ahead with publication of second books in the hope of, hopes of the genre of the series catching on. However, sales of the second book have in fact been lower than those of the first, and so our stewardship of the series must end here. It has been a pleasure working as your publisher, and we wish you and John Morrison the best in your future endeavors. <laughs> Welcome back. Spookster is here. I hear you. He says hi. I have my heart a gray for you. Your kisses keep on haunting me. Your memory won't let me. Yeah. The dad has been uh, sneaking shots back here. Oh, tell me why. 
Samantha, please give this to your mother. Janice, thank you for having Danny over to your new home. He has missed having his friend Samantha in the neighborhood very much. Danny asked if he could lend Samantha his Nintendo Street Fighting tape, and I gave my permission. He needs to spend less time with those games anyway. No hurry returning. Let Samantha know that she is welcome back to our house to visit anytime. When you live in one place your whole life, your next door neighbor is kind of like your default friend. And Daniel only got weirder over the years. So moving away has been a good excuse to, like, not see him anymore. But he did always have the good Nintendo games. Maybe I'll give him a call. Default friends. I'm a watch you now. Wrong button. I got this. Gotta wake up early and open tomorrow. <laughs> Katie, please tell mom and dad sorry about the stuff that's missing. Huh. Lip stiff. Mama needs a new pair of shoes. <laughs> Five. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Let's see if anything else is in here. No. Hi, Lonnie. So, if you want to come over to my house still this afternoon, that would be cool. I can drive. It's kind of. It's kind of far, but I can drive you home too, so hopefully that's fine. Right back and leave this in my locker if you still want to, and we can meet in the parking lot after, after 6. Yeah, I'm totally in. See you there. Then I'm gonna kick your butt. Get ready. <laughs> that Hadouken. <laughs> so you know what they say about the best light plans of mice and men? Yeah, it turns out it applies to Street Fighter too. At least I worked up the courage to walk into the 7-Eleven and ask for a turn, but... All that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. So after I was finished getting my butt kicked, I followed them outside while they smoked. And that was when she asked me if I was that psycho house girl. But then she said she's always really wanted to see the psycho house. Her name is Lonnie. She's coming over tomorrow. Interesting. Katie, please, whatever you found, don't tell mom and dad the attic. Huh. Uh, that makes me worried. <laughs> I 
Um, there should be a little icon that looks like a little happy face, I think. Um, that should be your friend setting, where you can add friends. Um, I'm kind of scared to go into the attic now. But I gotta, I, I know there's not gonna be... Okay, I guess that's locked. To the basement. Okay, I guess I'm not going that way. This game scares me, guys. I'm so bad. <laughs> so bad about, like, being freaked out by games like this. They just scare me. Sam. Sam. Hello. Sam! Sam, where are you? Really? I need to talk to you. Please be there. I don't know whose voice that is. That's really disturbing. Well, I guess it's time to go upstairs. God, this game freaks me out, guys. <laughs> I, I know it shouldn't, it just... This is why. <laughs> I just... This game just freaks me out. <laughs> It's like, I know everything's dark because it's like 1am, but just like everything freaks me out. I guess that's the thing of like, being in first person, you know? Everything being in first person freaks me out. Controlled burn, scheduled for Boone County. Plumes of smoke will rise above, blah blah blah. Joanna's green bear. Alright, there's mom. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Artorius uh, is like... Artorius totally fell out of their seat thinking that there was like a person in one of the rooms. <laughs> and, like, I, I, I thankfully was not scared, but I could totally see it happening. I'm pretty, pretty confident that I will not run into anyone. But I'm not sure. I'm scared that I will actually run into someone. Bruce Pendleton to aid in the upcoming prescribed burn operation, blah, blah, blah. Overseeing officers charged with the supervision of transfer personnel. Okay. And that's my mom. Uh, couples bowling, ballroom dancing, cooking class. Cook the big meal for Terry and Sam. Wow. <laughs> okay. Just wrong button. Down the floor. Oh, looks like the journals. First day of school, big gold star, default friends. Okay. I loved. <laughs> oh my god. He wouldn't. Uh, he couldn't do it. I, I just can't imagine him doing it. Bratmobile, potty mouth for Sam. Oh, I liked how that worked out. Or you wouldn't be able to see it if uh, you went the other way. That's pretty nice. Love thing, stab. Queenie. You're gonna like this one. That's what it said. I think that's what it said. It's 
pretty nice. I like that. It's weird hanging out with girls. Daniel was around ever since I was little, and other girls? I don't know. But being around Lonnie is like instantly just right. I gave her the grand Psycho House tour and took my revenge on Super Nintendo. And it was like, I don't know, I finally found someone I feel normal around. I drove her home and she gave me this tape and said, you have got to listen to this. I haven't stopped playing it since. Sam, stop leaving every damn light in the house on. You're as bad as your sister. I'm trying. I'm trying. I wonder if they did that on purpose because they knew I would turn on lights and would just leave them on. I tried to turn on a good number of them. <laughs> Sternly worded letter. What is that? Where's my phone? Something was buzzing. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, it's Reaper. Reaper tweeting. Jordan. To whom it may concern, I, Samantha Greenbeer, am 17 years old and am therefore an independent, fully functional human being. The fact that you still forbid me from going into the city on my own is frankly absurd. Compare with Katie, who is only three years older than me, and yet you all allowed her to go all the way across an ocean to another continent on her own. I always want to spend an evening in a normal, totally safe city on my own like a human being, and since you may also remember that I have my own car now, you can't really stop me. Warmest regards, our daughter Samantha. <laughs> Daniel called, Daniel called again. He wants his Nintendo game back. I'm surprised the mom didn't try to take down that, uh, that note. Cool schmool. We're so cool, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're so cool, cool. We're so cool, yeah, yeah. Fuck you, too. Cool schmool. <laughs> Do 
I think I see her. <laughs> That's really fun. Scrutinize. That one I see. Oh, I see a shark. <laughs> that was a little easier for me to see that one. <laughs> oh my god, yes. Magic Eye. Magic Eye is the best. I totally have a I totally have a book of Magic Eye things in my bedroom right now. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Little bug. Sam, I think the creative writing so track would be perfect cool. for yeah, you. Yeah. Fuck you too. Cool smoke. Beyond the benefits of the program itself, three students from each track will be offered a full scholarship. Sorry guys, I can turn it down. <laughs> let's see, let's do that. Hopefully it's a little better. <laughs> I know, it's such a quiet game, so I was like, music would be good, but then when they actually do play it, it's super loud. Let's see. Mr. Benchley observed Miss DeSoto wearing a t-shirt with an unacceptable image on the front. Large beer can labeled Pops Blue Ribbon. Sent to a guidance counselor. Ms. DeSoto is given the option to turn her shirt inside out, change into a shirt from a gym locker, or be suspended. Chose suspension. Her father was called, but there was no answer. No answer Ms. DeSoto must return this form tomorrow, signed by her father. Student signature Lonnie T. <laughs> ah, that's funny. Looks like a. Lonnie. Lonnie must have just like trashed it. That's really funny. That's not that loud. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just didn't want to mess mess up the mess you guys up, you know. <laughs> Groove. Weezer. Sir. This is the one me and my dad are building. Want to go for a ride when it's done? I'm 
Not a working C minus. Not a challenging assignment. Middle plaque for family portrait. Reasonable subject, but not complex. I said that mom and dad should be replaced with parents' names. I did not mean just add them underneath. Acceptable leveling on edges. Show more pride in work. <laughs> That's pretty funny. So I guess she was the one who made the little plaque for the family. Hey, look, it's it's Timorag's Timorag's red cup. Cups. It's raining cups. <laughs> oh yeah, I want that poster. Yes. I'm surprised I never had one. I was so into uh, grab Steggy, Steggy. Oh, Steggy. Oh, Steggy. How cute you are. I'll never wake up now, Steggy. <laughs> uh, let's see what else. Groove. All right, Reap. <laughs> room. Oh, okay. I guess there's another part of the, uh, the bedroom. Okay. Let's see. What a party. I haven't had that much to drink, Jodie Foster. How many fingers am I holding up? You'd better have been, uh, you'd better not have been reading my secret diary again. Uh, here you go, Midden. Have some pate. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. No idea. Where's Artorius, right? <laughs> Artorius was really good about uh, figuring out my. figuring out the combinations. I'm sure I'll come across it eventually. Maybe in here. Socks. Board game. Cut your number. Oh man. <laughs> Are you busy Friday? The king's labyrinth fraying threads. Captain Allegra, still in her flowing skirt and sturdy, sturdy jerkin, descended the shining, single shining thread into the lower cavern of the labyrinth. She and the first mate, on their own now, grew closer to their goal. The throne room of the dead and mortal king of the island. The first mate slid down the line onto the stone floor. She swept chalky bone dust from the front of her canvas trousers and looked up at Allegra. The silken thread... Nigh unbreakable thanks to the enchanted moths that inhabited the island, trailed behind, leading their way back to the entrance. From further into the labyrinth, a moaning began to echo. The moaning grew louder and clearer. It turned into wo words from some ancient language they could not understand. The king's cursed voice. The hairs on Captain Allegra's arm stood on end. She looked back at the first mate. His eyes remained locked in the blackness of the passage for a moment too long before noticing the captain's gaze. The first mate nodded silently ahead. Following the king's ghostly song deeper and deeper into a labyrinth, they came upon a rocky gap spilling forth other otherworldly blue light. The great basin of, of the dead king's throne room lay below. Skeletal and rotted robes, the king was hunched over the blue orb, topping his royal scepter. Shadows of his bony fingers danced on the walls like ghouls. As he sang, wailing souls flowed in one by one through the cracks in the cave walls. Where is Reiko? Reiko needs to play this. He needs to read to us. <laughs> Pulled into the orb, causing it to glow brighter and brighter. Behind the king, a long staircase hewn from rock led down into the chamber from passage at the top. Allegra said, we have the advantage in numbers. I will draw his attention, and then you... But the first mate interrupted, no, I am smaller. I am smaller and quicker. I knew of dealing with mystic energies like these. I will circle to the other side, get the king's attention, and lead him on a merry chase. She held up the silk line, all traced by this invisible thread, of course. 
Allegra said, it is a good plan, but perhaps we should go together. The first mate shook her head. You know this is our best chance. Don't be afraid for me. They grasped hands and exchanged three tight squeezes, their palms growing warm. The first mate tied the shining thread to the belt of her trousers, gave a quick salute and a wink, and dashed off. Allegra waited, staring vigilantly across at the top of the stairs where the first mate was to appear. The king continued his, wait, no, no, the singing stopped. The king turned and began walking up the stairs. Um, Allegra wanted to call out, to do anything to stop the first mate from running headfirst into danger. She tried tugging on the line to signal her. No use. The king was nearly at the top of the stairs when the first mate burst through the passageway. She skidded to a stop. Even from across the yawning basin, Allegra could see the first mate's eyes grow wide. She turned and ran. Summoning his undead power, the king left the ground, levitating and gliding behind her with distressing speed. From some dank passage, much too far away, Allegra heard the first mate scream. She was already turning towards the sound. She was already running towards the sound. The line in Allegra's hand went taut, then shuddered. It fell slack to the stone floor. As Allegra ran, she, ga she was gathering line, twisting it around her arm. She came to its end. The unbreakable thread dangled lim limply its end shredded and frayed in her hand. She tossed it to the ground and ran, ran, ran. Oh. Man, Sam had this in like fourth grade. Yes. <laughs> I love it. Holy Bible. <laughs> Uh, makes me wonder. I have a feeling I know why. Maybe she ran away. Samantha. S is for special. A is for adorable. M is for merry, affectionate, nice, thoughtful, honest, admirable. Midden. Oh, is that their cat's collar? Sad. Hi Lonnie, I wrote this in first period and left it in your locker on the way to second. Hey! <laughs> How's it going? Hmm. It's aight. <laughs> well, you can join me for the game if you want. Yeah. <laughs> oh, how is that pie, by the way? I haven't refrigerated it, so I worried it was going bad. I ain't tried it yet. <laughs> you haven't tried it yet? Well, it's been less than a week, so it's probably still fine, but. <laughs> <laughs> that chroma pie though. Chroma pie. <laughs> chroma pie hype. Chroma pie. <laughs> uh, just, uh, yeah. <laughs> you want some, but... Smells good. <laughs> Maybe. All right. Hi Lonnie. I wrote this in first period and left it in your locker on the way to school. To second. It's what all the cool kids are doing. I've decided. Write me back. Also, here's an idea for something to draw. Two cats on a motorcycle. Hey, this is a good idea. What all the cool kids are actually doing is is uh, sending each other pages in their beepers. But we're cooler than them because guess what? They can't put this on a beeper. <laughs> it's like a cat on a motorcycle. <laughs> two cats. Oh, there is two cats. <laughs> That's a small cat and a big cat. <laughs> Your drawing of cats was so good that I added a, added a background to make it even better. Maybe I should just stick to writing, though. <laughs> Looks like a little uh, spaceship, maybe? 
Haha, ha, I like it. How did you know they were about to be abducted by aliens? I'm looking at Mr. Fish right now. I feel like he would probably have lots of cats. Also, like, I, like, also, like his secret shame is he watches 9021 now religiously. I'll ask him about it after class. The, he said he doesn't have cats, and also that he's never watched 90210, but I could see in his eyes I was lying. <laughs> funny. Shannon Doherty, though. Right? Yeah. That Shannon Doherty. Uh, <laughs> that's the main reason why I watch Charm. Her and, uh, well, what's the other girl? Um, oh, um, apparently I can't cover that anymore. Uh, yeah. Roos McGowan? Rose McGowan? Is it she Rose? Came later. I'm was it the other girl? Yeah. Not Rose McGowan. Um, I can't think of her name either right now. Can I get this thing that's back there? That's just a bed thing. It's Rose McGowan, Shannon Doherty, and. Alyssa Milano. Alyssa Milano gave me so many teenage boners. <laughs> I mean, what? I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm sure adult boners, too. <laughs> don't touch him. <laughs> no, no pie? No pie. <laughs> That's okay. There's like a whole half a pie in there. <laughs> that's, that's not half a pie that you're eating right there. <laughs> Unless you ate like a whole bunch more. <laughs> that's true. That's true. say I didn't have pie for dinner tonight. Uh, you did. You said you had soup and, soup and a sandwich. Uh-oh, <laughs> uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, that's okay. Karma, motherfucker. That's karma right there. <laughs> that, that salt. Did you guys hear that salt? Oh, shit. Oh. Hey, Sam, do you want to see Pulp Fiction after school? The Coliseum, it came up last weekend and Todd won't shut up about it, so either it's good or we can make fun of him for liking it. My mom is supposed to cook for dinner for us tonight for a change, but I can just ditch out on it probably. What time? Also, isn't that movie supposed to be really violent? Am I going to barf? According to Todd, it is pretty hardcore. I guess Uma Thurman gets stabbed in the heart with a heroin needle, so that's kind of hilarious. Also, something about cheeseburgers is important. Todd wants to see it again. 7.15, okay? Don't barf. <laughs> Alright, see you there. Barf. <laughs> Not Pulp Fiction, though. <laughs> oh, thank you. I blame it on rape. <laughs> Sorry to pull you out of Lurkdom, Ark. For me to... <laughs> See? Now now he has me doing it again. <laughs> so? Just remind me to go back into the game screen. <laughs> you can keep playing. <laughs> anyway. Let me show you guys that note once more. Since I totally screwed it up. Look at this, uh... Look at that, look at that barfing burger. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> also, thank you, Ark. <laughs> it's a McDonald's burger. Is it a McDonald's burger? Yeah. <laughs> like a, like a Mayor McCheese, or Mayor Quarter Pounder cheese. Bathroom. Looks like a bathroom. That, that full HD capita. Let's see. Not telling me where I am. I guess I have to step into the bedroom. No. Now will you tell me where I am? Just in some nondescript room. Toothpaste. Cinnamon. I never liked cinnamon. Um, toothpaste. Nailed it. <laughs> Wait. There's a thing. Lonnie rules. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess that wasn't her real name. Her her name was Yolanda, but she went by Lonnie. Mm. Oh, so you're playing the scariest game since Five Nights, <laughs> right? 
I know, there was like a fan in one room, I turned it on, and it totally made me think I was playing uh, Five Nights at Freddy. Brush. <laughs> Toss. Oh, extra absorbent. Hey. Hey there. <laughs> it's just a tampon. Don't get excited, guys. <laughs> Nothing exciting about tampons. <laughs> I wonder if it's stuck on the on the tampon. Mm. It is. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> uh, whoops. <laughs> Okay, I was like, girl, what are you doing in here? Apparently you're dyeing your hair. Lonnie brought her Oops. hair dye over today. Oh. She said, I need to fix these roots. Think you could help? Dyeing hair is weirdly intimate. I don't know if I've touched someone else's scalp before. That's pretty intimate, right? It felt intimate. We looked in the mirror together after, and... I expected her to say something about how it looked crappy, or good, or whatever. But that's when she said, You're so beautiful. And she was looking at me. Right in that moment, I wanted to say something. But I waited. And the moment was gone. Oh, dang. Lonnie called her beautiful. Stay in the tub. Hmm. Let's see what's over here. Mom and Dad's bedroom. Doesn't look like they're here. Look like a bunch of their clothes are missing. It's weird. It's kind of a weird texture. Just, I don't know. It's kind of weird. It's like, we'll just do a clothing texture, you know? Like, I could, I, I understand, but it's also like, a little strange. Like, really? Like, my jeans don't fit in there like that. It's like, yeah, that looks good in a freeze frame, but it's kind of, it's kind of weird. But anyway, I shouldn't be picking too hard. think about your parents having sex. They don't. <laughs> Mom's purse. Oh, that shouldn't grab it. Dear Mom and Dad and Sam, I am in the channel. This is my second passage through the channel. I'm on my way back from London, this time going to Brussels, Belgium. Sorry I didn't write you on the way to London, but I was too excited about the channel. London was great. Dad, I know you've always wanted to visit. I think you really should. You'd love it. If you all want to come back here as a family sometime, I guess I could be convinced. Love you all, Katie. Earth, wind, and fire.
That Bible, though. How many copies of the Bible do they need to have? <laughs> okay. Random. Alright, I'm not going to throw your Bible on the ground. Sorry, Mom and Dad. Grouch. Whoops. <laughs> What's that whoops for? <laughs> I left the red chair in view. Nope. Oh. You did. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Butch Cassidy. Fugitive, all the presents, men. Sound of music. Did. Huh. There's like no VCRs anywhere. It almost feels like a. I wonder if Sam like. Took the VCRs? Looks like she took like. The Super Nintendo. It also looks like she. I wonder if she went through her parents stuff. Or if the parents had gone through all this. Bras. Underwear. Oh, midden. Our cat. Caitlin, age five. Aww. Aww. Hmm. It's interesting that that light was left on. <laughs> like in that headset, Reap. Dear Jan, oh honey, let me tell you, I understand how you feel. Bob and I have had our down periods. It's become a bit of a way of life, actually. You get used to each other. You live your own lives in the same house. The kids grow up, they go away. I'm sorry, this isn't helping, is it? Don't worry, Terry will get over whatever's distracting him. Things will go back to normal. And as for Sam being distant, that's a teenager for you. Nothing to worry about. In the meantime, though, this controlled burn. It sounds like quite the adventure, but let's cut to the chase. This new manager they sent, that's what I want to hear about. Ranger Rick? You have to be kidding me. That's too perfect. You have to tell me everything and send pictures. I want the whole package. Wait, that sounded wrong. Keep your chin up until Terry is out of his slump. And in the meantime, write more letters to your old friend Carol. She adores them. Love, Carol. All these three ring binders. Leaves of grass. Mm. Take your time. I'm glad to have it in good hands. Mm. Mm. Ranger Rick, though. Wow, that old photo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad something is coming through crystal clear. Oh look, a ghost game. Oh god. Escape from Ghost Mansion. Awesome. <laughs> oh, that's creepy. Or is a ghost there? brother, the cowboy, the widow. Hmm. I'm 
sure someone thought that was funny, doing that to them. Hmm. Water co te color techniques. Hmm. I wonder if uh, the water colors in the house are, are theirs, perhaps. Maybe it's the mom who painted them. That one's uh, oil, looks like. I did. I did see the 20th century, or 20th uh, anniversary PS4s. I saw you retweet that. Dirty clothes. Hey, Warren. How's it going? <laughs> OMG. Is not open. Maybe they just don't open. Maybe they're just decorative. That seems odd. Everything else open. Rediscovering your spouse personally, spiritually, sexually. <laughs> no wonder she was like, ugh. <laughs> You want one? <laughs> it looked alright. I mean, it looked like it, I guess it was trying to mimic the old uh, gray of the original PS. I think. Ooh, nice bedroom. But I wonder what, uh, I wonder if Sam had stolen things or if, um, the parents had gone through these things. It's hard to tell. Looks like some good reading there. <laughs> Katie, mom and dad were going to make up the guest room for you to stay in over the summer, but you came home on such short notice that they weren't around to do it. You can use my room if you want. I don't won't be needing it anymore. Hmm. I don't like those lights down there. That creeps me out. <laughs> Oh, is this my old bedroom? Or is this a guest room? This might be the guest room. Yeah. Hey Sam, you're asking what my... Gerald TC ribbons meant here's a handy guide or anteering rifle team. <sighs> this means the army thinks I can find my way around. The army has branded me as a certified killing machine. Adventure training. I'm a burn adventurous. I'm a born adventurous and the and no borders can hold me. The army recognizes this, so if so it, uh so if you didn't think I was cool before, now you do, Lonnie D. <laughs> Kapow! <laughs> More of my stuff, I guess. Is 
some Amtha Green Beer. Ghost Hunter Journal. Sighting Journal, August 31st, 94. Tall shadow in the upstairs hall. When I rounded the corner, no one was there. How tall is Uncle Oscar? No, I was not watering my, wearing my glasses. September 3rd, a faint voice coming from the bottom of the stairs. I said hello, did not investigate, probably was the furnace. September 9th, poured milk from carton and fridge. It was spoiled. Pretty sure I read that spirits can sour milk. Milk was just bought yesterday. Ooh, also ghost milk. <laughs> Lonnie says she feels a presence in the TV room. I suddenly began to feel cold. We built a protective pillow fort. <laughs> Lonnie and I employ Ouija board as a medium. Disturbing messages are conveyed from the other side. Oscar is definitely here. Enlisted Lonnie and I stay up all night and help patrol premises recording any signs of otherworldly presence. Lonnie reported many sightings, not all remained unconfirmed. Possibly ectoplasm in the attic. Probably, probably due to leaky roof. Sample taken just in case. Despite our best efforts, we both fell asleep around 4 a.m. All in all, a successful night. <laughs> I don't like this light down here. <laughs> I don't like it one bit. I guess it's nothing. Sam's dark room. Do not enter if red lights are on. Huh. Maybe she's printing photos up there or something? That ectoplasm in the attic, damn bad, right? <laughs> hmm, this must be the mom's painting room, perhaps? Mm, Richard Pattermack. Ranger Pattermack has been indispensable during the course of prescribed burn preparation and execution. I believe his expertise and dedication has been a deciding factor in the success at a very complex and challenging conservation effort. In the opinion of the Flintlock Forest staff, Rick's contributions to daily operations have become essential to the outfit's continuing success. To this end, I will be formally submitting paperwork requesting his permanent reassignment to this facility. Hmm. Definitely sounds like mom's got a crush on Ranger Rick. Halloween show, misfits. Sometimes you just have to lie to mom and dad. Like when Lonnie asked me to see a band with her and stay over at her friend's place in the city after. That's a lie to mom and dad's situation. But it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome. And everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. Between two songs, Lonnie leaned over and said, How do you like your first show? I was so happy. I felt tears starting in my eyes, and then she up and hugged me. I think she could tell. Hmm. This is what I think you're still life. <laughs> Ooh, I went through. <laughs> to Betsy. Nothing can stop me. Let's see. It's 
put in. Lonnie, holy crap, I was in the library and there was something in the corner. I found a secret passage and it had Oscar's creepy old stuff in it? Oh, weird. Oh my god. I have to go see this. We're skipping six. Secret passage in the library? I wonder if it's the one that was locked. Such mark on that. Allegra. Allegra and the first mate. The costume, my costume. It's <laughs> cute. I guess they're thinking of cosplaying. He saved her from raging flames, and then things really heated up. <laughs> wow. Trashy novel about rangers. Gross. I don't want to know. getting late guys. I should probably get going to bed. I don't really want to go up here but no, Sam's not here. Wow, locked. Damn it. is locked. The only thing I can do is probably go through that uh, secret door, I guess. Downstairs. Hmm. Mom and Dad's bedroom. I'm scared. I'm scared, guys. No, I'll keep that open. <laughs> Ghost Hunter Salmon Lani Secret House Hunting Investigation Log. Hidden compartments found three. Library, upstairs hall, foyer. Evidence of the supernatural was discovered zero. Huh. 
and compartments marked on map. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Don't scare me, Reap. Don't do it. <laughs> Panel. Crazy. that there's these open panels around here. Let's see. Hmm, there's another one in her dad's office apparently. Misfits. At Todd's brother's place after the show, there was only a futon to sleep on, so Lonnie and I shared it. The lights went out. I was turned toward her, my eyes started to adjust, and then I could see she was looking at me, too. In the dark, she smiled. My heart was beating so fast. I rolled over, I felt so, I don't know, nervous? After a minute, she put her arm around me, and was so close, and whispered in my ear, I really like you. I just nodded my head, and I really hoped she could tell. I really hoped that she meant what I think she did. I felt like a shook-up can of soda ever since. I hope we have the chance to talk before I explode. So we found one panel. Let's see if we go to Dad's office. It's a panel in the hallway. So. Thought I heard a noise. Fifty and one. Private, do not read. Heaven at the edge of the world. A leg runner scouting party peered down warily through the dense canopy of rustling leaves. From their perch high in the forest branches, mere feet away, some light shone brightly off the inner ice walls of a glacial basin in which a forest grew. It was a strange sight indeed. Such lushness juxtaposed with the frigid ice formations. Allegra leapt forward without hesitation, bounding through the high branches. The first mate had been captured by the Green Glacier's Amazonian tribe. His life hung in the balance. We have to hurry. Allegra's party followed behind, moving quietly as a breeze through the greenery. Allegra landed in the clearing and shouted, Stop! She saw the Queen Amazonian up on her pedestal, reaching for a lever that would drop her first mate into the vat below. She shouted, no, and flung her saber at the Amazon's reaching hand, but it was too late. The first mate screamed as he fell toward the water, then splashed down, and all was eerily silent. Allegra looked on, frozen in fear and remorse. She had been a moment too late. But then from the vat, something began to emerge, a head of dark brown hair, just like the first mate's, then the shoulders and sleeves of his coat soaking wet. But as the figure stood and the water poured down, Allegra saw that the first mate had changed. He is no longer a man at all. In fact, we looked at 
looked back at her were the eyes, the face, the hair, and hands, and body of a woman, still in the first mate's clothes. Still the first mate. He, she spoke in a soft, clear voice. Captain? The Amazonian queen said, she is one of us now, she is ours. Allegra drew her magical flintlock pistols from her belt, and her crew readied their swords. Allegra glared into the queen's eyes and said, that's the love of my life, and you can't have her. Interesting. No. Oh. Something upstairs, huh? Okay. Let's see. I don't like hearing my own footsteps. It's disturbing to me. <laughs> okay, looks like it's over this area. Fifty. Hello, hello. Who are you, Oscar? What do you want to come back? Oh, that's creepy. <laughs> that's creepy. No wonder if I hit that. I would. I would hide that too. <laughs> That's awesome. came over today but everything was different she was sitting at my desk chair and she wouldn't look at me finally I asked her what was going on she said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city like I must think but I said no there was nothing wrong I just wanted to say but I couldn't find the words I felt like I was gonna cry, but I wasn't sad. She got up and sat next to me on the bed. I looked at her. Lonnie, do you think you could ever... And that's when she kissed me. Someone's been stealing clothes. <laughs> Finally, Jillian Anderson. Who would not be in love with it, Jillian Anderson? Even if you... Look, there's Shannon Doherty there, too. Um, even if you are a girl. Great UFO.
Learning a lot about my sister. Alright, well I got the basement key. I guess I might as well go down there. That magazine though, right? <laughs> Well, it does seem like there's still a few more locations um, that I have yet to unlock. The basement, the other side of the house, and the attic. So I think I'm going to call it here, guys, so that I don't stay up too late. Um, but we will definitely continue this. Also, this game kind of scares me a little. I just It always unnerves me to be in a first-person view, and there's no one around, and I don't know. I just don't know why it scares me. It just does. <laughs> and it's like raining. I don't know. That's creepy. <laughs> All right. Well, with that, um, um, I'm going to call it. Uh, let's go ahead and get some music going. <laughs> oh, them triple X files, though. <laughs> them triple X files. Let's see. Let's figure out. All right. Let's go ahead and start from here. Start playing some tunes. <laughs> and bring this back up. Let's see if I can hear that. Well, uh, <laughs> you can't leave me all Warren. <laughs> Why not, Warren? Don't you need to get to bed? It's probably pretty late for you. <laughs> um, let's see if there's anyone else streaming right now. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Warren. I know I don't want to really stop in the middle of the game, but... Um, it's also getting late. It's past my bedtimes. It's okay. It's okay. It j I just won't sleep. Oh. <laughs> I hope the game doesn't scare you. It uh, scared me a little bit. Um, let's see who we got. see anyone who's quite fitting in with um, what we're doing right now so um, I might just call it here and let you guys do your thing you know we can oops Ooh, don't let me blow out your hearing sorry about that guys um, let me just change the volume on here too yeah it should be fine okay Oh, is stream still up? Yes, Artorius, although I'm just calling it now. Um, we, I can show you um, where we're at in the game. Um, where uh, we're downstairs and we've unlocked, we've uh, done the second floor. Um, we've found a few secrets. Um, but there's still a few spots that are locked. And we just got the key to the basement. So, um... Part of me wants to finish it, but it is past my bedtime, and um, I still need to get ready for bed and everything, um, and uh, I'd rather just, <clears throat> excuse me, I'd rather just continue this uh, next time we have a chance, um, but um, I had a lot of fun with you guys exploring that house. Anything horror related? Uh, a little bit, you know, we found the Ouija board, and apparently, um, this has a bad time. You know, as an adult, you kind of appreciate getting the proper amount of sleep, especially if you have a job. <laughs> a proper job uh, the next day. Um, I mean, um, I want to make sure I do my job and not fall asleep at my desk. So it's always nice when that doesn't happen. <laughs> um, but yeah, there was a Ouija board and, um, you know, they had talked to the uncle and and they they asked uncle what he wanted and it started to spell to come back and they just 
ended there. <laughs> so it's pretty creepy. There's also secret passages that we're starting to discover, which kind of creeped me out. Um, but uh, yeah, there's still some locked areas, so no worries. Sleep is a godsend for work, seriously. So, um, but it is a, it's it's a little creeping me out, but it's also really interesting just to hear about um, the sister. Um, you know, we're finding a little bit more about the sister and how the sister is into girls. Nothing wrong with that. And uh, and um, had a had a gentleman's magazine in her locker, her locked locker, um, with Jillian Anderson, which is like, come on, who did not have a crush on Jillian Anderson? So, worth a buy. Um, I got it with a humble bundle. Um, a lot of people were really into this game. Um, because it was a very nice slow burn and um, about, uh, you know, just not just because no one's at your house and it's like one in the morning and for some reason you decide to go through everything. Um, but uh, also that uh, it's an interesting story. You know, you start, you, we learn a little bit about the dad, about how he's trying to write, but his publisher cut him off after the second book. Um, and he has stacks of uh, unsold books in his house. Um, the mom uh, probably has a crush on a coworker and um, had a uh, pulp uh, novel on uh, Rangers in Love, uh, but also had a book in um, her bathroom about trying to revitalize a marriage and um, and uh, letters about you know letters to her friend about uh, her husband being in a slump. So. Um, interesting take on the family dynamic and, um, you know, holy Bibles everywhere and, uh, the youngest daughter rebelling and, um, and them trying to figure out how to deal with their daughter. Um, so the fact that the house is empty right now and, um, we're trying to piece together what might have happened, where the daughter might be, if the parents are out looking for her, where the parents might be. Um, so yeah, it's pretty good. Um. I don't remember how much I paid for it. It really depends on you. Um, I definitely want to grab it uh, in the bundle, um, but um, and I might. I should see actually if I have a extra copy. If I do, uh, Artorius, uh, you can let me know if you're interested. I'll check around. I'll check around my keys, but um, but uh, it's a pretty interesting game so far. I mean, I feel like I feel bad because I feel like it's kind of been spoiled for you. So in case you do buy it, you know. <laughs> but anyway, we'll continue on with the story. Um, definitely pretty interesting. And, uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, I appreciate you guys hanging around, listening to me talk about uh, my old PS1 games, which I would love to go back and play. Um, you know, all of these guys. Definitely want to play all these. And I always loved that they had the old um, fake ribbed design there um, to mimic the bigger boxes, which I actually have one of the bigger boxes. Not I don't have the game inside of it, but, uh, um, you know, I had the ridges on it. So, <laughs> oh, yeah, let me know. No, no worries. I might have a complete different take on it. It's true. And you missed a, a good portion of it um, while you were gone. So hopefully, uh, but I'm glad you got back uh, in time for the end of the cast, and I'm glad uh, you had a safe trip. So anyway, um, all right. Well, with that, I'm going to take off, folks. Have a good one. Um, I don't know when I'll stream next. I think Reaper might stream tomorrow because he opens in the morning, um, but we'll come home in time to stream. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'll stream soon. <laughs> I'd been itching to play this one, so I'm sure I'll be itching to come back to it. So, anyway, and I don't think there's too much more of it left, also. We have done quite a bit of, uh, of work tonight, so. Alright, folks, well, with that, um, I will see you all next time. And, um, yeah, have a good one. Talk to you all soon. <laughs>